For today's video, I wanted to change it up. And by change it up, I mean, I want to do something that pretty much every art channel ever has done except me. Slime. I've literally never tried it in my whole life. And in my shop with me video, I just had to purchase a slime craft kit. I'm going to be trying out the Elmer's Collection slime kit. I will link the exact one that I used below. And we're going to also do a bit of a craft activity with the slime. If you know me, you know I don't really follow directions. I feel like I'm being restricted creatively when I have to read the directions. And it almost becomes like a challenge for me, like engineering wise to put things together without following the directions. Just gives me a bit of a thrill and I can go, wow, I did this without following the directions. But in terms of like baking and things like this you really need exact amounts and if you're not willing to read the directions and do it exactly it kind of leads to a disaster so in an effort to not mess this video up i'm going to attempt to read the directions no i think i did something wrong let's get started okay so here is my elmer's collection slime kit washable safe non-toxic that works well for me i don't like things that are toxic on the back, we have some directions. You need glue, an activator, you mix it together, and it apparently makes slime. Trying to open the box was a bit of a struggle. I broke my nail, a tragedy. I decided to use my scissors instead to open the box, and it was still shockingly hard to open, but what else is new? I struggle with boxes and packaging. Finally got the box open. Inside the box, we have all of this stuff. Metallic slime activator, confetti slime activator, and glow-in-the-dark slime activator, as well as the three glues in clear, blue, and metallic. After actually reading the directions, I gathered that you can mix together any combination of one glue and one activator, and you will allegedly get slime. Three batches. One, two, three batches of slime balls. Gross. To get started, I took out the following materials. A bowl, a spoon, a glue, and a slime activator. This picture might look familiar. It's from the directions. I really tried my best. For my first slime mixture, is it a mixture? Yes, it's a mixture because you can't separate the parts. I remember chemistry. Science, 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 science. That was annoying. I'm going to mix together this translucent blue color, which looks strangely appetizing, even though it is indeed glue. And no, you are not allowed to eat it, even though it is non-toxic. I don't make the rules. Next, I'm mixing in this confetti slime activator. Notice it has lots of little pieces of confetti in it. The slime activator is going to do exactly what it says it's gonna do. It's gonna activate the slime. I don't really know what that means. Yes, I was having problems opening this. No, the wooden spoon did not help. I stabbed it with a pen instead. And yes, I did get it open eventually. I know, I struggle. I really do. There's the confetti. Let's get our bowl of blue liquid out here and add a tablespoon at a time of this confetti activator. I kind of just winged the amount of activator I added, but I think it turned out okay. Honestly, watching this back, it's really difficult for me to even talk over it because, ooh, look how slimy it looks and like gooey. And it just makes you want to just like put your hand in it and just be like, yes, ooh, wow, shiny. At this point, I was too overwhelmed with the desire to touch it that I touched it. It was definitely way too wet. Added some more activator. I mixed that together even more. And when I got it to like this consistency, I thought maybe I should pick it up and immediately went, nope, not ready to be picked up. <laughs> but then I did it anyway. And it was quite slimy, very wet, gooey. However, this is apparently a very necessary and crucial step in slime making. You can see how shiny these confettis are. Aren't they so cool? They're very metallic, but they got all over my hands and I had to try to gather all of my lost confetti friends. Since this was the first slime I had ever created, I wasn't really sure if I got the consistency correct. 
it felt like it was getting firmer and firmer as I kneaded the slime. And I decided that next slime I make, I'm gonna add less activator. Overall, I don't really like the way the color of this slime came out. I love the confetti pieces, but I was expecting the slime's color to turn out way brighter considering the color of the glue originally. I don't know why it turned so dark, but let's try another slime combination. For this second slime, I'm using a clear glue, which is very see-through, obviously. It's clear. <laughs> Once that's out of the bottle, I'm taking out the metallic slime activator. After giving that a good shake, I took off the top and stabbed it with a pen. And now I'll be adding a tablespoon at a time to the glue. This slime activator was called the metallic slime activator, but honestly, it looks more pearlescent. Once I was done mixing that initial tablespoon, I decided to add a little bit of the confetti activator. I had a little bit of this left over from the last slime. And if we recall, this time I'm trying to use less activator but I realized I did not use anywhere near enough. I had to knead this slime for a while and it kept getting stuck all between my fingers and on my hand. It felt really cool, but honestly, it was impossible to knead because it was just stuck between my fingers the whole time. I will say though, this slime ultimately did turn out a lot better than the blue slime. I'm showing you that my hand is pearlescent. Although this slime started out very wet and sticky, as I kneaded it, it turned into the perfect consistency for slime. It was very stretchy, easy to manipulate, and just so fun to use. It feels great, and I love it so much more than I like the blue slime. Up next, we're using the metallic glue and the glow-in-the-dark slime activator. This metallic glue, it turns out, was very thick, which looks so cool, but honestly, it got stuck, and it started to become impossible to get out of the bottle. I was only able to get around half of it out. You can kind of see it's still stuck in there, and I kind of just left it like that and took out the glow-in-the-dark activator. Of all the activators, I was most worried about the glow-in-the-dark activator because I was not really sure if it was going to work. I was very skeptical if this thing was actually going to glow in the dark. I kneaded this all together and it turned out to be a pretty good consistency. But does it glow in the dark? The camera was able to pick up the glow-in-the-dark bottle so well but the slime was not as easily picked up. It did glow slightly in the dark, but not as much as the bottle. After making three batches of slime, I decided to do a craft with a notebook, a scissor, and a pencil. I sketched the shape of a star on the inside cover and cut it out, just like this, a star. I then taped the inside of the star just because I had little tiny tears. For the front cover, I needed washi tape. This is Mira Byler's Bottle Buds, and you'll notice that I did not include that in my list of supplies, but that is because the front cover got ripped, and I wanted this to look a little bit more put together. So I took this washi tape and kind of outlined the star with the tape. It did take a little bit of time to get things perfectly lined up, and to cut the scissor at just the right angle so that we had perfect little points on the end of the stars. But at the end, I think it turned out pretty cute. But what are we making? It's gonna be a notebook with a slime pocket, but first you need a plastic bag. Yes, I realize I did not include the plastic bag on the list of instructions. You need a plastic bag. Put the slime in the plastic bag and press the slime as flat as you can possibly make it. I'm talking like pancake flat, so I pressed it down a couple of times until it was around this thin, and then I took my notebook back out. The last step is pretty easy. All you have to do is tape the slime bag to the inside cover of the notebook. I use scotch tape, but honestly, you probably should use duct tape on the bag so that it's a little more secure. You also have the option to be able to open the plastic bag and change out the slime if you want to. And here is what the front cover of the notebook looks like once the slime pocket slime window is done. I guess it's kind of a slime window and a slime pocket in one. And now it's time to review the Elmer's Collection Slime Kit. 
I'm going to give it a rating of 9 out of 10. That is quite a high rating, let me explain. I think that as far as making slime goes, for a beginner, this is the perfect kit. It's very easy to mix together the two things and make the slime, which was the primary thing I was going for. It's very much based in the texture of the slime, but I did take off one point because of the color options. The blue color is just ugly. The red color is kind of weird. I like the clear, I guess, but I personally would have preferred slime that was either pink or purple or green. I just didn't really like this color scheme. I do like the activators, however. I think that confetti, the pearlescent, and the glow in the dark are quite fun. I had a lot of fun making slime for the first time using this kit, and I hope you guys enjoyed it too. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next week for another video. Bye! Hey,